Former Mississippi Governor William Winter died Friday night at the age of 97. Elected in 1979, he ushered in a new era of public education in Mississippi. With his Education Reform Act of 1982, he set rules for compulsory school attendance and free public kindergartens. challenge all of us to have a better understanding of where we've come from and then inspire us to work harder to find our common ideals and goals. His passion for improving education helped create the Museum of Mississippi History and the Mississippi Civil Rights Museum. And overcoming some of the misunderstanding that people have had about this state. Now, we're telling the whole story. We're not telling the good, the good parts. Excuse me, we're telling the, the bad parts as well. He worked to unite Mississippians, a state with a deep-rooted history of racial inequality. In the 90s, he was appointed by President Bill Clinton to serve as co-chair on the National Commission on Race. Governor Winter was also a staunch supporter of changing the state flag back in 2001. I hope the legislature will step up now and act on it and do it, and I think everybody will, will, will be glad to get it behind them. And after nearly 20 years, he finally saw the old flag come down and be replaced by a new flag as a sign of progress in the Magnolia State. Both current and former governors sharing their thoughts on the passing of Governor Winter. Governor Tate Reeves saying on social media, he truly loved this state and his country, and the people of Mississippi loved him back. Former Governor Ronnie Musgrove saying in part, from a call for kindergartens, more support for our public schools, and a change for our flag, his voice was for a new and better Mississippi for all. We have lost a true statesman. Cecil Hannibal reporting for us tonight. Governor Winters is survived by his wife, Elise, three daughters, and five grandchildren.